This is Matt from VMP Performance, and today we're going to run our 18F150 5.0 through the gauntlet. We're going to see what it dynos on 87 octane. We're going to tune it on 87 octane. We're going to tune it on 93 octane. Then we're going to baseline it on flex fuel. Then we're going to tune it on flex fuel with VMP Performance's flex fuel tune as well. And we're going to see what we can come up with when it's all done. Okay, so I'm going to hop in this truck and get started, and let's see what it puts down on 87 octane and no tune. Okay, so guys, so we just finished our baseline dyno pull on our 18F150 5 liter. Um, it's a bone stock tune, other than we removed the factory speed limiter and the planetary protection so we can dyno it in fifth gear. Uh, we're not dyno it in sixth or seventh because I'm trying not to throw the drive shaft over into the neighbor's yard. Um, and with a completely stock tune with 87 octane in the tank as per factory fill, uh, we ended up with 341 and 360 rear wheel horsepower and torque. So that's reasonable. I'm gonna see what we can get out of it with 87, because um, I'm sure there's some left in it for the people that just refuse to buy 93. And we're gonna see what we can do with that before we move on to filling it up with 93 and going from there. Okay guys, I spent some time working on the VMP Performance 87 tune. Uh, we picked up 22 rear wheel horsepower, 21 foot pounds of torque peak to peak. We actually picked up 30 horsepower to the tire under the curve, mostly between 4,500 and 5,500 RPM. So that's not bad for an 87 octane tune. So 22 rear wheel to 30 rear wheel under the curve is gonna be something you can definitely feel even on an 87 octane tune. However, I wanna see what this thing does on 93 and then later on on E85. So we're gonna go ahead and drain the tank. We're gonna switch over to 93 and I'm gonna see what we can do with the VMP Performance 93 tune and we'll report back. All right, so now we're getting interested. We just drained all the 87 on the tank. We switched over to 93. Been working on the VMP Performance 93 tune. We're up 46 rear wheel horsepower and 50 foot pounds of torque and actually 49 horsepower under the curve. So you're basically up almost 50 wheel horsepower just with a 93 octane fuel and a VMP Performance custom tune. So based on that, now I want to get this thing on E85 and work on a flex fuel tune so we can really see what this thing will do because if we picked up that much power on 93, the flex fuel tune should get really interesting really fast. So let me see what we can do and I'll let you guys know. Okay, so now we're getting interesting. So, be warned, lots of numbers incoming. So, we drained the tank from 93, filled it up with E85. We did a baseline pull on the E85 to see what the flex fuel tune by itself in stock form would do on the E85, and then proceeded to load the VMP Performance Custom Flex Fuel Tune. So, we picked up 24 horsepower, 31 rear wheel torque over the baseline of the E85, with a peak of 64 rear wheel torque down at 3,500 RPM. So it's still a substantial gain, especially the 64 foot pounds of torque at 3,500. But where it gets interesting is if you compare it to the 87 numbers, we have a peak of 89 foot pounds of torque gain at 3,000 RPM with a peak to peak of 50 rear wheel horsepower at 58 rear wheel torque. The grand total numbers being 391 horsepower to the tire, 418 torque to the rear tire. 
So this thing should feel amazing considering, like I said, you've picked up 89 rear wheel torque in the mid range and 58 peak torque higher up. So this should be a whole lot more interesting now. I can't wait to go drive this thing and see what it feels like. So if you wake up bored one morning and you look out the window at your five point slow F-150 and you decide that you just need an extra 50 horsepower and an extra 89 foot pounds of torque in it, then hit up sales and support at VMP Performance. We'll be glad to take care of you. We'll get you all hooked up and you'll be flying. No big deal. If you wanna keep seeing more videos like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest videos coming from VMP Performance.